Orton. Uh, make sure y'all smack the like button for show, and we're just gonna get into this. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Ismail back here with another video on how I successfully raised my cat and dog together so far. The purpose of this video is to give insight into introducing dogs and cats together. Training dogs and cats together, raising them together is starting to become more common. I'm starting to see that a lot more on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, etc. Also, if you ever heard, Now you know you can't bring some animals in my house like that. They gonna kill each other. You know cats is the natural enemy of dog. Just link this video. If y'all wanna skip the introductions, go to this timestamp. Besides that, let's get into the video. Before that, I would actually like to thank our sponsor today. Never mind. We actually don't have a sponsor, so we're gonna actually get on to the video. <laughs> our first character is Starfire, the cat. We picked her up on July 7th, 2022, when she was a very tiny kitten. She is mischievous, full of curiosity, and will demand attention when she needs it. Second, we have Pluto. He is a Shih Tzu Poodle mix who loves to relax and eat, but he'll definitely turn up a gear when he's around his siblings. If you want a full video of them, just let me know in the comments, um, and I can definitely get on that and, uh, you know, talk to their owners and uh, get them all back together again. He was born on July 5th, 2022, and it was crucial that we got them both young because I wanted to avoid risking them being older and you know being more prone to disliking each other looking at how it went i'm glad we got the kitten first because getting the kitten to be comfortable was more of a challenge than getting the dog to be comfortable so when we finally did introduce the dog the experience turned out better because the kitten was already satisfied and stress-free as a result and just had to get used to the dog we got the cry baby and the deviant. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think she likes him right now, but he really could care less about her. Like, are we being honest? Like, this dude has not bit at her. He's not tried to run after her. He just wants to play with her. <laughs> and every time she sees him, she hisses. He's not like him. Stop! But yeah, they just need to look at each other. That's the only way they'll get used to each other. You need, you need to stop. You good, mama? She been hissing at me too. What you gonna do to me? Small fry? That's how you get your pets used to each other, man. Just step one, man. They gotta see each other every day. They gotta eat next to each other. They gotta, they gotta know he gang. And she game. Oh, she watching him. She already thought this was her food, man. It's not your food. It's not your food. Come on. Why can't y'all play nice? Good boy. You're doing a good job of not attacking nobody today. You only just smacked him in the face a few times. He'll get over it, though. <laughs> Stop. It's literally like he's just eating. He's just eating the head. Good boy. This actually transitions well into my first point. One thing I wasn't ready for was how independent and stubborn Starfire can be. She enjoys climbing on things and getting into things. A significant word that I've had to learn is cat proof. As in, I have to learn how to cat proof everything. Things that can be easily knocked over or knocked onto the floor will be knocked onto the floor and knocked over. Where did my straw go? She took it. 
Why are all of my hangers on the floor? We know who did it. Long story short, put things away, tuck away your wires, or your dog will sit on your surge protectors on an off switch and turn off your computer, router, and the video you were just editing. When you finally introduce your animals, tr try to have a barrier in between them that they can see each other and or smell each other and or kind of have access to each other but not enough access to where they can have a violent confrontation if that makes sense either a giant crate or you can just use the underside of a door just have one animal on one side and have one animal on another side and this leads well into my second point the first interaction won't always be positive and that's okay to keep the nerves calm i would feed them at the same time in a spot where they're close enough to see each other um, this should reinforce to the animals that the other is not a threat. My original plan was to keep them apart for the first week that I had them both together. But during a coincidental point in time when I wasn't paying attention, the animals actually came face to face in my room while I was on the phone. And luckily nothing happened. He just kind of smelled her and then she just ran away. And at the end of the day, they're going to have to live with each other and, you know, they'll find their own ways to play. And this segues well into my third point. These animals have feelings too, so just make sure that you treat them equally and fair because they definitely do get jealous. You wanna have cat and dog toys. You wanna make sure that while there are areas where they can both play and interact and have like the same toys, they do have things that are their own. They have their own bed or their own rest area or their own toys definitely the their own food and water bowls even if they do eat out of the same bowl um my cat and dog they share food all the time so it it's still important for them to have their own stuff though if that makes sense um another thing that i have to consider is i have a male dog and a female cat and now that the cat has come of age i have to watch them a lot more closely because you know they, they get in heat. And of course, the most important thing that um, I think that a lot of people don't realize, don't understand, and kind of just rush into, you need a lot of patience and love, right? They are animals, and at the end of the day, they're all gonna have their own specific challenges that you have to find your own ways to just try to navigate. It is about just um, doing all you can to be prepared and just trying to keep them safe. So if this video helped you in any way, please leave a like and a comment. If you want any other videos like this or any other videos on anything else, just let me know in the comments. You guys know I read all comments. If y'all have any comments or questions on anything, go ahead and ask. I'm willing to answer. Like I said, I read all comments. Besides that, you guys be safe. Make sure you guys check out my last video. Check out this video right here that just popped up. And you guys have a good day. Peace out. Taco.